Here we go. Off to the North Wall Beach car park. Sunrise. March 13th, 2014. sketchy or I'm really turning left anyway so in fact the traffic pass for a minute I just saw something I gotta go back here and pick up
probably everybody else turning down here to go to North Wall Beach in the morning here. It's about the first sunrise we're gonna have where it's not raining and yucky for weeks. I'm not the only one with this idea. I'm gonna have to check my back wheel. I feel like I've got another broken spoke. It's all right. Get a hold of my buddy, Carl. Have him redo some spokes. Adjust my back brake. Well, I think it's fine now. It's not rubbing, it's getting down there, but uh, I'll just see how it goes. No sense in fixing it if it's not broken. Give it some time. Oop. As soon as I took my hands off the handlebars. Oh, hey, look at that. There's another one over here on my way. person this car is gonna be like I have to get over for you that's no fair maybe they're not who knows people are weird this is like a beach access road it's kind of for everybody going to the beach Well, we got cloudy skies, so might not be much of a sunrise, but either way. According to the weather radar tower we got out here, it's not going to actually rain. It's just out, out there. Messing with the Whit Sunday Islands. That'll slow it down. Need to get some different oil for this thing. That dry lube I've got is good, but it's not protecting from the water and the salt. The chain's probably smoked anyway. About time to change it up. There's another one. This is what breaks spokes. Going up the curbs, or gutters as they're known down here. It's really not going up, it's the down that gets it. not fall over at the same time. I can look it down and the back wheel is out of true somehow. That usually means a broken spoke. Hey, look, 
fucking spulvers being aggressive for no reason. Well, they're not really being aggressive. They're just making noise. to the beach to take a walk. I mean, I guess I get it. Just, I've done it. It's kind of against my beliefs a little bit. I can not burn the gas. Snipper. All right. Take this harness off. I'm going to look into getting some different mounts. Put one on my helmet, maybe. One on my car dash. Here it is. We'll switch to. And here we are. There's the steps. Car park. North wall. So here's a guy surfing. I think the tide's pretty much out but not quite as far out as it could go. I seem to always be getting down here low tide. There's North Wall Beach. There's the berm. If we're feeling up to it, I might explore the, the path going up the hill. I guess I'll grab my Crocs for that adventure. But yeah, this is a different camera mode. See how it looks from this mode to when I run up. sun peeking up over those clouds. If it comes out super strong, like it looks like it's gonna, I'm probably gonna have to get out of here before I get smoked by it. I don't have any sunscreen on. I'll go home, eat breakfast, put on sunscreen, make sure I'm not gonna get rained on, ride downtown, do my business. I gotta go to the printer print some stuff. The office works. It's always fun. So this is where I'm headed. Is There's a little... Let's see if I can figure out how to frame this. So, yeah, there should be a little blue sign. Um, yeah. There's a little yeah, big tree popping up. Is that that? little blue sign coming up here. That's where I'm headed. I'm going to go up there and see what's at the top of that hill while I'm chasing the sun the other direction, I suppose. There's got to be a path through there. There's steps and stuff. It's a maintained trail. There's got to be a trail following that through into my neighborhood somewhere. That would be cool to know the back way. Here we are coming up on it. Um, I guess if I was a real cameraman, YouTube guy, I'd like set up my little tripod, which I don't really have a tripod, or I don't have a tripod set up my little tripod here so that you can see me climb up there and I'll get up there and then come back get my camera and climb up there again 
That's how you make it look real. But I am doing it for really real. Let's see if I can hold the camera. I, my harness is on my bike. It's kind of uncomfortable. Not super uncomfortable, but it could be more comfortable. So I just left it on my bike. I can probably get up here one-handed. This camera makes everything look amazing. It's just, it does all the dumb work for you. Up the hill we go. All right, here we are on the trail. Okay. Well, I don't need shoes yet. I will soon though. Let's get them on. All right, camera in my pocket. Probably a cool shot. Sunrise there. These little little vines cut are flowering. Cool little purple flowers. Something around here was get some yellow flowers too I saw a minute ago. Alright, let's see what's oh there's a the yellow flower. Right there. Good old Queensland. Alright, let's see where we go. Uh, make sure we don't run into any crocodiles. This is probably where they'd hang out if they want to, but there. I just don't think there's any around here. You'd hear about them. Uh, that's not to say I'm not gonna keep my eyes open and be ready to just walk back toward the beach. But, I mean, it's one of those deals. Unless I ambush them, I'm gonna make sure I don't. I'm not gonna walk too fast should be all right i mean it's a trail <laughs> you know it's it's people ride their dirt bikes and stuff through here it's not something that i think the crocs really wear they really have a big interest in hanging out here and in the daytime so i'm getting back into the timber here have a look around make sure nobody's waiting for me but again the crocs are the only thing you got to worry about honestly and they should be pretty big it's not like there's cougars or jaguars or coyotes or anything here none of that right, so we're getting to the top of the berm here again maintain trail i'm not worried about it too much I mean, I suppose I had a spider or two, but it's another one of those. Just to keep my eyes open. I think this is pretty domesticated. Really, what, what'll spook me more than anything else would be some bird. Oh. We got a little little draw we're going over here. That's pretty cool. Like down there, would want to hang out down there probably. But um, I guess I I didn't get the bugs are coming after me. That's the biggest problem back here. It probably always will be bug spray is probably required on this trail. Um, but these little purple little blue flowers are pretty cool. I missed the bird. There was a weird looking bird walking down this trail. Couldn't get the camera out in time to get the bird. But yeah, these are different kind of little purple flower. Maybe they're the same. Have to look at the video, make that determination. But, yeah, it's just, I know that I, I got the idea of what this trail is all about. Let's see if you can. There's a lot of dirt bike paths here. I, I'm pretty well convinced crocs aren't a problem. It's, I mean, and I'm making noise. I pretty much treat crocs the same way I treat bears. You know, I don't exactly look like food to them. And uh, as long as I don't scare them, they're just going to avoid me and go the other way. Just the same as I'm going to do for them. But here we go. Coming out. Sunrise over the water. My sunglasses are on my bike, got no sunscreen, time to head home and have breakfast.
I'm probably just gonna go, go, go. No more camera. Get, get, get down away from these bugs. They're getting me. So this is about, I wouldn't say we're halfway. I feel like I'm closer to, to Lambert's beat. Lambert's is just around that corner right there. And this is access number two. There's an access number one. And dude, if Crocs were a problem, there'd be signs warning you about them and stuff. I'm pretty sure Crocs are pretty well eradicated from this point. I don't think they really live here. There's way too much activity. But anyway, there we go.